now we are going to learn about the very important topics of microbiology that is the antimicrobial resistance so here we will discuss mainly two topics one is the how is the antimicrobial resistance acquired among the bacteria and the second one is the what is the mechanism of the antimicrobial resistance in the bacteria so first talking about the how antimicrobial resistance is acquired so there are mainly two mechanisms of uh, acquiring the antimicrobial resistance the first one is the spontaneous mutation in the dna so the spontaneous mutation in the dna leads to the antimicrobial resistance now this is due to the insertion deletion or the substitution of one or more nucleotide in the genome that may lead to the uh, lysis of the cell itself or death of the bacteria itself or may cause the antimicrobial resistance so it's a double ended sword so it may lead to the uh, death of the bacteria itself or it may lead to the anti development of the antimicrobial resistance in that bacteria for example we have got the we have we have seen the rifampicin resistance in the mycobacterium tuberculosis that is the example of spontaneous mutation in dna now some important points about this spontaneous mutation in dna are that with this mechanism of the antimicrobial acquiring acquirement the resistance usually develops against the one drug at a time so whenever there is resistance antimicrobial resistance developing due to spontaneous mutation then there will be resistance against one drug only at a time only one drug at a time and it is usually a low level or low grade of resistance okay it is not a very strong resistance it's a low grade of or low level of resistance and this can be overcome by multi drug therapy hence we use the multi drug regimen of hrjd in case of m tuberculosis because we know if we use only rifampicin there will be development of the rifampicin resistance in the mycobacterium tuberculosis hence we are using the multi drug therapy of hrjd isoniazid rifampicin pyrazinamide and the uh, you know the uh, ethambutol so the multi drug therapy is used in the treatment of m tuberculosis okay so this is the one mechanism of the uh, antimicrobial uh, resistance development next we have the other mechanism of the acquiring antimicrobial resistance that is the transfer of drug resistant gene from one bacteria to the other bacteria now that uh, usually the drug resistant gene is present in the r plasmid so when the r plasmid is transferred from one bacteria to the other bacteria that usually causes the transfer of the drug resistant gene to the other bacteria as well and by that there is acquiring of the antimicrobial resistance okay that transmission of the uh, r plasmid can occur by transformation transduction or conjugation any of these method of the gene transfer may help in this uh, transfer of the drug resistant genes in among the bacteria now when uh, through this mechanism of acquiring of the drug resistance or the antimicrobial resistance there is development of multiple drug resistance at a time okay in the uh, spontaneous mutation we saw that there was one uh, there was resist development of resistance against one drug at a time but here in case of transfer of drug resistance there may occur multi resistance against multiple drugs at a time because multiple drug resistant genes can be transferred at the same time from one bacteria to the other bacteria thereby causing multiple drug resistance at a time and then this is also a high level resistance development among the bacteria okay a high level of antimicrobial resistance develops in the bacteria plus here the multi drug therapy is useless multi drug therapy is useless in the case of the uh, when when the antimicrobial resistance uh, has been acquired by the transfer of drug resistance gene because it is usually a multiple drug resistance which is acquired by this transfer of drug resistant genes now so these are the two mechanisms of the acquiring of the 
antimicrobial resistance what are the types of antimicrobial resistance the types of antimicrobial resistance are the intrinsic antimicrobial resistance and the acquired antimicrobial resistance intrinsic means which is internal internal property of the bacteria so like the cell wall the cell wall of a particular bacteria may be uh, uh, may be you know uh, causing the antimicrobial resistance in that bacteria like the vancomycin resistance in the gram negative bacteria we see that it is a intrinsic property of the gram negative bacteria that it will be that they will be uh, resistant to vancomycin so vancomycin should not be used in the gram negative bacteria treatment okay because they are intrinsically uh, uh you know anti uh, they are intrinsically uh, uh, resistant to vancomycin okay and then acquired acquired we have talked that uh, the uh, the acquired antimicrobial resistance can be uh, developed due to a spontaneous uh, mutation in the dna or may develop due to the transfer of the drug resistant genes so this is all about the mechanisms of the acquiring antimicrobial resistance next we will talk about the mechanisms of the antimicrobial resistance